All right, just made it up to the Cairngorms Mountains and it's actually snowing up here, which is quite a relief because down in the valley here, it was pouring down rain. But there's a couple of temperatures difference and that just makes, makes all the difference. I've come up here to try and locate snow buntings and ptarmigans. And snow buntings, I'm actually hoping to find here around the parking lot. Um, there's a flock of small birds right up here. <laughs> It could be them. I think this is snow buntings right ahead of me up on the picnic benches here. Amazing. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. <laughs> well, I say easy. The weather outside is pretty crazy. So taking photos can be tricky. They're quite flittery. Amazing, that is that is just no one thing. So cool. Okay, so if all else fails, at least I'm gonna to get to try and photograph them. In the winter, we get about 10 to 15,000 uh, individual snow buntings coming to the UK um, from Scandinavia, um, Greenland, these kind of places. Uh, and you can often find them down by the coasts, uh, on the beaches, and things like that. Uh, but up here, they're quite known up here in the Cairngorms for always coming down down to this, um, right where the ski lifts are in the Cairngorms. You can often find them around this area. And I've never actually seen them here. I've only seen a snow mountain once before. But anyways, this is what I've come for. And it might be, like looking at this weather, it might be that I'm just gonna hang about the parking lot area here. I definitely don't wanna venture far out because it's windy, it's misty, it's dark clouds. I could easily, you could easily get lost in this kind of this kind of weather in these, um, in these places. So. This is quite cool conditions to photograph in, but it's still a bit dark. So I'm just gonna chill out with a cup of coffee, a little bit of snack or something like that, and then get dressed up as warm as I can and head out and try and photograph these little guys. absolutely amazing uh, really cool got some images already that I like I want to try a little bit more for them and it's looking like it's clearing up a little bit up the hill but it's still really windy but I think I will try and kind of venture out for a little bit of a ptarmigan um, see if I can find some ptarmigan or anything like that but that was so cool I feel like I got some great shots already um, of the snow buntings a bird that I've never had a I don't even have I've never had a photograph of them before um, so I'm trying for a bit of different images um, so what I'm gonna do actually is because they come back here all the time uh, and I want them a little bit out in the middle of this little pathway with the snow so I'm gonna put down a little bit of seeds there that I got in my car a little bit of bird seeds um, to, to kind of encourage them to come out a little bit more where I want them so I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and go off there, spread some seeds, spend maybe another hour or so with these guys, then maybe get in here again, get warmed up, and then try and wander these hills a bit and try and look for ptarmigans. Anyways, coffee first, warm up, maybe some food. These 
has really nice little birds as well. They're just, they're just quite, really quite cool to hang out with here. Um, and especially since I've never really spent any time with them. And they're such tough little birds. I mean, I was going on with the dipper being tough, but these guys actually live on top of the mountain here. That, that's where they breed. Absolutely crazy. The snow bunting, though that's actually, there are a small population, a small populations in Scotland's of snow bunting breeding. I think this la latest estimate is something like 60 pairs. And on the tops of some of the hills here in the Cairngorms and the Highlands of Scotland, there's a small population up here on the Cairngorms Plateau, and I think a few other hills um, around up here in the Highlands. But there's not many, and uh, sadly that's one of the first um, is predicted to be one of the first birds to basically go extinct in, as a breeding species in Scotland due to global warming. If the temperatures keep going the way it's going now, we get milder and milder weather in the, in the summer and winter, then um, it'll probably just be a wintering um, visiting species here in the UK. Um, and that's, you know, that, that goes for a few other bird species as well. So, Dotterels, possibly ptarmigans, um, and they are at their kind of lower range here, most southern range here in Scotland and the UK. They're not um, when you're comparing them to um, they're used to more Arctic tundra conditions, and in the UK we only have that up on the top of these hills. But once the weather, the climate um, warms, then. Um, it's just, then they're going to, most likely they're going to be outcompeted by other species will, which will find that habitat more suitable to them. And these species are already struggling with places like here where this uh, ski center and things like that. People come, people leave trash, more crows, more corvids and gulls are attracted here um, to feed on the remnants for humans. And they will also go for like eggs of ptarmigans and things like that. So it becomes a tougher and tougher place to survive for these species. They're back. Yeah, incredible. I've only seen one bird before, and here we got about 30, 35, um, a flock of them just going back and forth. So, absolutely incredible. All right, I'm going to try and get a different background now. Uh, I really want to get it with all snow. Let's try that around here. That was absolutely amazing. So here in the snow is another perfect opportunity to do what I did in the wax wings uh, video, which is over overexposing, creating this high key, high key images uh, where almost everything is thrown out. But I also get, like to get the snowflakes in the background because it's a bit of a darker grey sky in the background now. So I'm really liking the vantage point here and it makes for a very simplistic image. Just just trying to get just the bird, a bit of ground snow and some snowflakes um, flying around them. It's kind of a simplistic 
image that I'm going for. Basically just the three elements. And that's working out really good so far. I'm loving this. Oh, what an absolutely incredible day. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I've been up here, Cairngorm Mountains, all day. I came here probably, I don't know, 8, 8.30, just after 8, I think. And it's coming up uh, past 4 o'clock now. Sunset is coming up, so a good 8 hours up here. I'm quite cold, <laughs> but it's also quite a good place because the ski lifts are right there. You can use the bathroom there. I'm going to get warm, or I can go into the car a little bit to warm up. I've been photographing those snow bun things up here pretty much all day. I took a couple of hours um, after I've been here photographing for a few hours. A few more photographers showed up, and I had already been thinking that I kind of want to try and look for ptarmigan. So I took that as my cue, and we were loads of quite a few photographers there and um, I took that as my cue and I kind of hit hit the slopes and at first I walked up that that direction um, where I've seen Tormigan before and I've seen that in a video that I did three days uh, camping in the Cairngorms um, and I walked quite far up but then it was just a white wash there was so I mean gale force winds and snow so it's, all of a sudden you can't see anything and my tracks and the trail is just getting covered up behind me so i figured that was a little bit too risky and i turned around and then i went up on the other side of the ski lifts here and that's more of a straight up and i've also been told that this that's an area that that um sometimes you get the ptarmigans come further down in the winter and they've been seen there but again i couldn't see anything and once you get a little bit up the wind is so strong i can barely hold my binoculars Unfortunately, I had to give up on that as well and came back and um, I had some photographers up here. I uh, still photographed the snow buntings, really nice people. And I just sat there and photographed for hours and the light kind of came and went. Sometimes we had really good light with the hills in the background lit up. Um, and I tried different variations. I mean, first I was on the steps photographing them, trying a little bit for, because they do this hovering kind of thing just over where they land and so I was trying to get them in flight then a little bit with uh, where they're at the grass and feeding and then I actually went a little bit up where it's completely flat and a snow ground cover and I lie down all the way like just as far down as I could to really just get that white white foreground of the snow my background kind of varied a bit from dark clouds to Sometimes it was clear and I got actually got sunshine on the hill behind which I thought was really cool. Um, and then, yeah, just trying out experimenting with various shots of that. And also trying a little bit of overexposing for some high key images and just really simplistic. And towards the end here I tried more for flight images and I think I got, I think I got some good ones then. Uh, they were just, uh, they were just hovering so much. Uh, and it was actually, you know, it's still hard but easy enough to get some anyways super excited it was such a fun day absolutely loved it uh, i hope uh, you guys enjoy this video um fortunately no tarming in this time and uh i don't know if i'll come up here again now because it's uh, i think the wind is just gonna stay uh, so strong if it dies down in the next couple of days i might try it again if not i'm probably gonna head um head across in a different location here to photograph mountain hares so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you haven't subscribed already my name is espen and uh, this channel is all about wildlife photography please do hit subscribe and hit that bell to be notified and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye